All right, so I'm gonna show you my strategy with Sicilians. Uh, you drop two castles over the wall with the siege tower in early castle age. I think it works like 80% of the time, at least, if you do it right. Uh, it used to be better because the castle went up like 100% faster, now it's just 50%. So, you just can't, uh, I even stopped doing it for a while because I was like, oh, this is over, I can't do it anymore. But I, I started doing it again and it did work. At least with the uh, lower elos, like 1500 or less over that, you're gonna have a, a little trouble because people are looking a lot better than these guys here. So six on food, you know, send five on wood. The fifth villager, they send on, on the wood, you, you make two houses. I do two houses at once because I, I will forget the next one if I do one. So two houses, then you send to the berry, make the meal. And you send to the hunt, one more, and then you send one to get the boar. And you put six villagers on the berries. Yeah, you should micro this better. Look, that's horrible. Alright, so I got six here, then I'm gonna send six on gold. Sorry, that's three on gold, not six. Three on gold, and you go feudal. So when you get to the feudal age, you use two villagers, make market, one make the other building, and you send two villagers to the stone. Right, so going castle, 11 minutes and 40 seconds. You send seven to get stone. You take three villagers from the, the mill and take wood. And you put your village back to the, the goat. And right here, you should, before making more farms, so you first do the research for gathering wood, the double X thing. The second research, you should do the, um, the stone. And the last one, you should do the mule research. Uh, you, you should have money to do all of this and still drop your, your siege building here. So I did forget to make the, uh, this research. I shouldn't do that. Because you have a few villages working, but it, it will be a lot more efficient if you do this, right? Because you'll be busy dropping castles in people's faces right there. So I did the, I did the, um, the wood research and the stone, I forgot this, so you should do that too. All right, so let's go. As soon as you get castle, you reach castle, you take three villages and make the siege building. When you finish, you have, uh, you have everything to make a siege tower. You take two villagers from the gold and put make take wood next to the, the siege. So you have the 10 villagers to send. And you, all your villagers should have full wealth. You, you can send anyone with um, damage health because this is <coughs> it's very intense. So as soon as you get there, you should drop your castle in his face as much as you can. But you know, sometimes you'll have buildings around and you can't. And if he has some, some military, you should just drop anywhere. The, the, the sooner you do it, the better. And if you can micro a few houses around you to protect, it's, it's, it's good. So here I go. This is perfect because then I can get this gold. Yeah, he's trying to make a tower. 
and while they are doing this I already have this this many farms and while I'm there I'm not looking here I just put the um, the TC and send all the villagers to the gold so I don't have to to be looking because if you if you're making farm and doing this uh, at least I can't do that so uh, I put them all on gold and I, I put all my energy right here um, after the first castle is done I try to, to take resources from his base usually gold and I research the gold too right so you make one castle drop the second one and you should try to make this castle so the first castle can reach him so you can defend the castle if, if needed and now you should make a couple of sergeants send around you can kill a couple of villagers and if you can drop this castle it's it's good so i started making the tarts since it's so close you drop this castle and this is over the other thing usually the the guy next to him will try to help him and i don't mind it i, I it's good because now he's spending resources to, to kill me right yeah nobody can drop his castles easily especially if they're close to each other And what I do from here depends. Sometimes I drop to castle and the guy just run from his base. So I stop gathering wood, uh, stone, and start booming. I use the, the gold, buy some wood, and make like three or four TCs, and just start booming. Because this guy, this guy will, he'll be a lot behind when you do this, this correctly. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, another thing, when you drop the first castle, you should uh, research the, the bodkin, the, the arrow thing from the uh, this building. You should research that and as soon as you can, you should, should research the second, second one. Because you, you want your castles to reach as much shit as possible over here. So you should do that as soon as you reach the first castle, so you, you do a, one research. When you drop the second, uh, a few minutes later, you should have the second arrow research. I mean, you know what I mean, the, the bot, botkin arrow, I don't know what they call it. Yeah. So I drop this castle, I should, I probably should Put this castle over here, but I was afraid of the uh, PC, so I, I thought this was safer. And this guy ran, yeah. So we ran down here, and the game's over. Lots of fun, short games, I love it. 